Hey there, good morning and a big welcome to you and thank you for checking out this video. This is Motions Biz and I will be sharing another video about a specific credit union and I love credit unions. Navy Federal was my first uh, credit union and United Nations Federal Credit Union is my second. And this is also a result of a lot of information that I was able to uh, get from uh, very good channels here in YouTube. And I think I heard this from both uh, the Radical Marketer and Credit Blog as well. And I was really wanting to be a member of this credit union just because of their very unique products. And they are international and they have very generous um products and loan amounts as well so to all you out there especially my dear subscribers thank you so much again for following me on my journey and let's get started United Nations Federal Credit Union, as the name implies, was initiated by members of United Nations employees and staff as well. And that's why they have an international reach. It's also because of that. And they do have a lot of branches and they operate internationally. And that is one of the reasons why they can offer home loans, uh, vehicle loans, and uh, both locally in the U.S. and and overseas as well, because as we know, a lot of these employees with the United Nations work all over the world in different countries. I joined UNFCU, I think about a few weeks after I joined Navy Federal. And this is because I was just attracted to some of its products and a lot of their international features as well. And they are a bit tough to get into as far as their loan products because you have to be with them at least a year. And some of their products also are catered only to uh, most uh, mostly employees and staff members of the United Nations. So what I will feature here are just the products that are, you know, made available to uh, you know, regular members like me who joined the federal uh, credit union through a membership of one of the associations that they support and if you check their website it's very basic and it does offer these services and once you click on the different links it provides you with a lot more information about what they have what is very popular though with their credit cards they only have two credit cards available the elite and the azure card and this is what has been uh, discussed in a lot of uh, channels and why it is so attractive because the elite card uh, has a credit limit of up to a hundred thousand and compared to navy federal navy federal's highest credit limit card is the flagship which is up to eighty thousand uh, credit limit and uh, the other credit card for UNFCU, the Azure card, uh, gives you up to 50000 Now, for a lot of people, I think um, having a credit line or a credit limit that you can use for investments, not just, you know, spending it on uh, items or, or whatever, like, you know, just uh, a, on, a, on a whim. But if you use this credit wisely and if you have it, it does empower you. To either be in business for your own or come up with a lot of investments which can really improve your personal financial situation and here is just a quick comparison of the two credit cards that unfcu has so you can check it out here the annual fee for elite is 50 dollars. for the azure there is no annual fee for that introductory rate for the elite is zero Point zero APR that's a pretty darn good offer so both of them have the same APR so that's very low so but the current rate for elite is about 11.99 and for azure 
is 12.99. Now, comparing that to my Navy Federal, you know, on the personal and the business side, uh, it's really lower. I only have about 9.65, I think, on the personal. And on the business side, it's about 9.16 or 9.15 something. So, but still, I think it is a good a credit union to build a relationship with and in fact I'm getting ready to do the secured uh, uh, loan product and just a few more details about both cards uh, foreign transaction fees for the elite card is zero percent or zero for the Azure is one percent so they also have the VIP airport lounge access so they cater this to a lot of the UN uh, employees who travel so much around the world so uh, there is it is offered in the elite card but not offered on the azure card so again both have introductory points uh, offer for the elite is 10,000 and 10,000 for the azure as well they also have a global rewards program with cashback options and both are up to three times the points. So I am aware that there are a lot more cards there that offer better, you know, rewards. But still, UNFCU has other products that are really uh, very inviting and attractive. So hopefully, I will be able to build a relationship with them. So to be able to access those benefits as well. One of their products and offers that I think is quite attractive is the Secured With Deposit Loan. And it says, take advantage of your deposits, borrow based on what you already have in your UNFCU savings, or share certificate accounts. So they have a share certificate accounts uh, account, just like Navy Federal, and whatever deposit you have in there, you can use that money as a collateral, but it cannot be accessed, but will still earn you dividends. And with this secure loan, uh, yes, you cannot uh, touch your savings and your share certificates because that is a collateral for your loan, but you can borrow up to 150% of all your UNFCU accounts. So I think that's a very unique feature because it's hard to be able to borrow 150% of whatever your deposit is. Usually it's either 100% or maybe 75, but this one you can access up to 150%. So if you have a deposit of let's say 1,000, then you would be able to borrow up to 1,500 uh, for that. So that's a pretty good incentive to be actually saving with them to join nfcu it is of course uh, open to all eligible employees retirees consultants and volunteers for the united nations and uh, just specific things there so if you have a connection with the united nations or an employee i'm sure you already know about this but for us regular people who just want to be a member uh, we have to be a member of the two associations that they recommend we join before you can gain entry into the union. So when I applied for membership, you would be able to join these two associations, um, the United Nations Association and the Kilimanjaro Association of the U.S. as well. And you can access that right when you do the application. So... Um, requirements as far as paperwork. You will need a copy of a valid government-issued ID, mailing address where you would like to receive communications, residential address, and a $25 uh, dollar fee to fund your membership's share. And they also need your social security number if you are a U.S. taxpayer, or your tax identification number if you are not a U.S. taxpayer. And after that, the process is very simple. And one thing I like about UNFCU is that I was easily able to link that account to uh, Navy Federal. And so it's very convenient and it's pretty quick. And they are actually very responsive. They are based in New York. 
So UNFCU in general really has a lot of good products. You know, the international real estate, the um, up to 150% personal loans, although some of their products are available only to United Nations staff, but they still have a lot of products that you can really avail. And that's including like uh, educational loans, uh, vehicle and home loans here and abroad. So just something to consider if you are considering joining uh, Navy Federal Credit Unions, but definitely UNFCU is international and they're pretty big also. Not as big as Navy Federal, but it's a good option. And the only thing with UNFCU is that they don't have business products. They're only for the personal side. So I may be joining another credit union that offer great benefits for the business as well. So until then, uh, hopefully this was helpful information. And thank you so much again and see you on my next videos.